Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the VanQuest Trident 21 pack, which is a really functional and rugged camera and EDC backpack. VanQuest is well known for making some really high quality accessories and backpacks. We've looked at their Attix backpack on the channel in the past. That was a really solid EDC backpack that had a very subdued and minimal aesthetic, you know, meant to blend into more of an urban environment. And I really enjoyed using that. So I was excited to see the Trident backpack, which has a much more kind of tactical vibe and seemed to offer a lot of configuration options, a lot of modularity and interesting features. So I'm excited to have a chance to test this out over the past couple of the weeks. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience testing it. I'll show you how I've loaded it out, walk through all the features, and I'll also talk about how it compares to some of the other similar bags that are currently on the market. Before jumping into the video, I wanna thank the company for sending the bag for me to test out. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the outside of the bag, this definitely has a pretty functional and tactical vibe, which I'm typically a big fan of. It you know, has a lot of straps and attachment points, pockets, different ways that you can configure stuff on the exterior of the bag. So not super minimal, but definitely something that I would be comfortable taking into the outdoors or for walking around the city or traveling. Uh, just might not be quite as minimal as some of the bags that I like to wear with a more professional outfit and take into the office. As far as the materials on the exterior, the bag is made out of a 500D nylon. There's also a 1000D on the bottom and other kind of high stress areas around the bag just to provide a little bit of reinforcement. Overall, it feels really rugged and well built, like it's gonna be able to handle any situation that I throw at it. And then it also has some great lockable YKK zippers all throughout. Continuing along the outside of the bag, on the front you have, as I mentioned, various attachment points where you can hook things like carabiners. You have Velcro so that you can customize this with a variety of patches or pouches. There is sort of a Molly-like webbing here that again, works well with many of the accessories that VanQuest sells. We have a few of those that we'll be talking about in this video or just with other pouches that have the ability to attach to Molly webbing. Here at the top, again, just more Velcro, more webbing. You also have this bungee cord which could be used to attach you know, items that are maybe a little bit larger that don't fit as comfortably into one of the pockets. So I really like the versatility that's provided by all of these features on the exterior. Uh, and it's a good trade off, you know, if you don't get a clean sort of minimal vibe, it's great to be provided with so much functionality. Uh, on the sides of the bag, you have additional kind of webbing and pockets near the top. You have some attachment points here, very comfortable top handle that has this sort of gel-like comfortable padding. Very easy to pick this up off the ground and for holding the bag even for a longer period of time, it's got enough comfort there. You have this sort of plastic ring on the side, which again is gonna be a good spot for attaching something with, with a carabiner. In my case, I actually clip on my hand sanitizer here most of the time. This is a little bit too small for something like a hero clip, but still like having this there. And then you do have an external water bottle pocket. This is something that was added with the third generation of this bag. Uh, so this actually expands out. It's got a little zipper on the side that gives you some volume and the pocket is gusseted so that you can still fit something like a 20 ounce water bottle. That's the one that I was able to place in there. You also have this bungee cord that allows you to secure the bottle in place since this isn't a super deep compartment. And so it's worked well for my particular use case. I like that you can kind of zip it up and keep it out of the way. I will say that it is a fairly tight fit. Anything bigger than the 20 liter water bottle, I wouldn't be surprised if it could fit. And that's also gonna be a little bit interesting because you have some organization behind that water bottle pocket. So it's gonna be a little bit tricky to maybe take advantage of that if you're using this with something a little bit larger. Taking a look at the capacity, the bag comes in at about 20 liters, which is a really great daily bag size in my opinion. I was able to hold most of the items that I normally like to carry with me. I did realize that this 20 liters, just due to all the pockets and features that it has, feels a little more compact than other kind of simpler 20 liter bags that I featured in the past. So for bulkier items, taller items, it wasn't able to accommodate them quite as easily, but it still was able to hold enough for what I typically need to carry. And you know, it's a fair trade off for all the different pockets that you get. And I like that even when the bag is a little bit more packed out, it still maintains a pretty slim silhouette, which made it great for navigating crowded areas, jumping onto public transit and carrying on to pretty much any domestic or international airline. 
Moving into the straps and the back panelling, so far the bag has been really comfortable to wear. This is a very robust harness system. The shoulder straps have a ton of padding. It's very breathable on the inside. They also have a good width to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders. You also have a variety of attachment points where you can clip on sunglasses, a, you know, lights, additional things with carabiners. And then you have an adjustable and removable sternum strap to help distribute the weight. At the bottom of the straps, you also have quick release buckles, which you know allow you to get the bag off, maintain the length, or you can actually place this around a table leg maybe to give you a little bit of security, prevent somebody from running off with the bag. And then moving into the back paneling, this has also felt great. Same sort of padding that we saw on the straps with tons of breathability. It's comfortable right out of the box. And then I love the elevation here. You have these deep air channels to provide you with a lot of airflow while you're walking around throughout the day. One last note to call out while we're on the back paneling is that you do have a removable waist belt that's included with the bag. Uh, you know, it's a fairly simple sort of strap waist belt, not a ton of padding, uh, but it's still nice to have, I guess, if you load this out with a lot of camera gear or heavy stuff, if you're going on a hike, it, you can actually place this through this channel here on the back. It secures nicely, it you know keeps the pack stable. Didn't feel like it necessarily lifted a lot of the weight off my shoulders. Um, and generally for this size of bag, this is definitely not something that I would use. So I was really happy that I was just able to remove it completely, but it's still great that it's included if it's something that you wanna use. On the bottom of the bag, you have some additional webbing to attach other accessories and pouches. And I like that the bag is flat enough on the bottom that it stands up pretty well on its own, which is always a nice bonus with these type of bags. And then jumping into the organizational options, you really have a ton of pocketing all throughout this bag. If you're somebody who likes to have a slot for every little thing, there's gonna be plenty here that you will probably like. So on the front, you have a quick access zippered pocket, which has this snap closure here that almost seems to work as a security measure. You can't easily open this compartment. This is actually a zipper that's not lockable on the bag, so this kind of provides a little bit of deterrence. And these snaps, there's two of them on the bag, are actually quite strong. It can almost be difficult to open them up if you wanna reach uh, the compartments quickly, so that's something to keep in mind. You have these great zipper pulls that allow you to get a good grip and easily open the compartments up. And then this area here is just a really simple compartment, no sort of internal organization. You can see there is a bright lining, which is always great to help with visibility. In this compartment, I just have some smaller items. I threw in my air card holder, which is one of the wallets that I travel with. And then I also have this power bank that you know works well with my iPhone when needed. Behind that, you have a larger admin compartment that has some nice internal organization. This opens up a good amount. I like the angle here. You'll notice this is a constant theme with the bag is that it's meant to be easy to access the compartments by swinging the bag around so you don't have to take it all the way off. And the angle that's provided here works great whether you're opening it from the side or from the top. So I really like the thought that went into the zippers there. In here, you just have some simple organization on the flat, first up, you have a Velcro compartment that's a little bit larger, just kind of a large slip pocket that has this sort of interesting mesh that Vanquist's bags typically have. It's pretty robust. You can kind of see through it, so you have a sense of what's in here. It's not completely clear, but in this case, you can kind of see that I have my sunglasses with their case, and then I also have a little manicure set that I always like to have with me. On the back of the compartment, you have just some simple slots that are gonna be great for something like a stylus or a pen, which are what I have here. And then you have a larger slip pocket next to that where I actually just placed a, a deck of cards, but this is probably great for a hard drive or a mouse or something like that. And then you also have a lanyard with a plastic clip, which is gonna be a good spot for your keys or a multi-tool. And then on the back, you just have one larger slip pocket, which is a good spot for maybe something like a Kindle or a notebook. Moving up along the front, you have another quick access pocket with some nice internal organization. Again, love these zipper pulls. This is another lockable compartment. And I like that this has a decent amount of volume. So if you have something a little bit thicker, you should be able to make it fit. And you know, I, and here I just place some of the smaller items that again, I just grab a little bit more regularly during the day. Same sort of angled zipper here so that if you're you know, trying to reach in while the bag is slung over, uh, it's not gonna open up completely flat. In this compartment, just kind of resting here, I have my GoPro, 
but then beyond that, I kind of organized everything else into the various pockets that it has. So on the lid here, you have another zippered compartment with the same mesh that we saw on the front. And you know, this has a decent amount of volume and kind of a soft inner lining, which is good to help prevent against scratching. In this case, I just placed my Apple Magic Mouse in there. Uh, and then on the back, you have a large slip pocket all the way against the back where I placed uh, some band-aids and ointments. And then I also have just a cable to charge my iPhone or my tablet. And so nice amount of space there. It's not super deep. You can see it's about the length of my fingers. And then on the front here, you have some web webbing and loops that are elastic and are gonna allow you to hold some of the EDC items that you might be carrying with you, whether it's cables. In my case, I just have a pocket knife here and then I have a little flashlight. On the side with the water bottle pocket that we showed a little bit earlier, you have another zippered compartment that has some additional internal kind of pocketing and organization. You have a zipper that goes all the way around so you can have plenty of visibility into these slip pockets, which are a little bit shallow and they don't have a ton of elasticity. So I wasn't sure what exactly I would put in here, maybe a thinner wallet, some cash, some business cards. This one on the back, however, was uh, big enough to be able to handle an additional power bank. I like to have this with me, you know, if I'm gonna be out for a longer day so that I can charge my devices. So I like the additional pocketing here. And then you have an extra lanyard with a plastic clip. Again, like the one that we saw on the front, a good place to attach your keys, a multi-tool, light, other type of accessories like that. On the back of the bag, you have a larger compartment that's meant to hold something like a tablet. So it has a nice big zipper that allows you to access this area pretty easily. I currently have my iPad mini, fits in there comfortably. It's gonna keep that device protected while I'm moving around throughout the day. On the back of this compartment, you have a softer kind of hook and loop lining where you know, it helps prevent against scratching, but it also pairs well with some of the accessories, again, that are sold by VanQuest and others. Might even be able to use this for you know some concealed carry holsters um, if you want to have it against your back to keep it a little bit more protected you also have a little pass through here uh, if you want to use this for a water bladder it could pass through into the main compartment which has an opening which we'll take a closer look at in a second so nice additional pocket here this isn't quite suspended off the bottom of the ground so i wouldn't necessarily place my laptop in here. It could fit, uh, but there is another sleeve on the inside of the main compartment. Regardless, plenty of space here, and it does have a lot of protection from just the rigid back panel and padding that it has there. Moving into the main compartment, I like that you can access this both from the top. If you don't wanna open up the bag super wide, you can reach in when you place this next to you at a coffee shop or something, grab whatever you need. But if you're using this as more of a camera bag or you're just slinging the bag around, uh, and you don't wanna you know, take it all the way off, it does have a zipper that goes all the way down to give you some additional access to everything that's on the inside. This compartment has, again, another kind of snap closure that prevents the zipper from going down too easily. This can be something that, again, is not super easy to do, which is good because it provides a stronghold, but if you're somebody who's regularly accessing this area of the bag via this zipper, you might wanna leave this unbuttoned. So going all the way down, you can see it's not quite a clamshell opening, but it does give you access to the full volume of the bag so that you can organize it, grab what you need. I really like that you know, you can just set this up as a very simple sort of bucket of space here for the bulkier items that I typically carry. So diving into what I currently have here, again, 20 liters of space, I was able to fit a lot of my pouches. So here I have a Goruk shadow pouch, which has you know some of the bulkier items that I typically have with me. Then I have this awesome organizer from VanQuest, which has some great internal organization. You can open it up completely flat, has slots for things like cables and dongles or just EDC tools that I might have with me. This is a lockable pouch, which is always a good, good bonus to have if you have some more sensitive items in here. You have a little slot on the front for something like a notebook. This has webbing on the back that will allow you to attach it to different areas of, of this bag or others. It also seems to include these little Velcro loops, which again, might help you attach it. Uh, this is a little different than other Molly pouches that I've used, which actually have maybe snaps or straps like the Goruck field pockets. So um, definitely something to kind of play around with, but I really just love on its own, the versatility of this pouch and how much organization it provides. On the back of the compartment, I have another VanQuest pouch. 
And this one actually has a hook and loop backing or a Velcro backing so I can actually stick this onto the back or the front of the bag. You know, I really like the fact that this is kind of covered in that material so you have a lot of flexibility and you can just tear that out access it very easily when you need to. This particular pouch is interesting. It's pretty simple, just a great area to hold something like my laptop charger and cable in this case, but it also has the ability to expand to give you some additional volume if you wanna hold some more stuff. Might even be a cool little desk caddy if I wanna put some of my EDC items on a bedside table or something while traveling. So interesting pouch here, and then it includes a little backing. So if you don't wanna use the hook and loop, you can just put that away and use it like a regular pouch. Uh, so really like the variety of pouches and accessories offered from Banquest, uh, and they work well with this bag. Uh, and then down at the bottom I have the Evergood Civic Access Pouch, which is one of my go-tos. And then I also have my Beats Studio wireless headphones with their hard shell case. Now the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside, so a pretty simple overall layout. And Although I mentioned earlier that this doesn't feel quite as spacious as some other 20 liter bags that I've used, it does come up plenty. And if you don't pack a lot of other stuff into this compartment and you can you know, leverage the outer organizational options, there's still enough room in here to toss in a packing cube um, or in maybe a dop kit if you wanna use this for a weekend trip. On the front of the compartment, a few additional organizational slip pockets. You have here, they're secured by Velcro, so stuff isn't gonna fall out accidentally. This is an area that might work well for uh, your sunglasses. This is where I typically have my Tom Bin Ghost Will pouch, which you know I just reach in and grab um, sometimes. And then down at the bottom, you have another slightly larger slip pocket, again, secured by Velcro. And because of the orientation, accessible while slinging the bag around. In this one, I just have a full-size moleskin notebook. And then one of the interesting things about this bag is that it also works quite well as a camera bag. They have a variety of dividers that have been included that pair well with this sort of layout on the inside. You can configure them to you know, kind of meet the needs of whatever equipment you're carrying. If you wanna have a DSLR with a couple of lenses, uh, these are some really well padded dividers. It feels like your stuff is gonna be well protected. Um, you know, if you wanna carry your drone, a GoPro, you know, any sort of stuff that you might carry. I typically don't have a ton of camera gear with me. Um, so I mostly have my drone, the remote, and then maybe a smaller camera. And then because of the way that the zipper is laid out, you can actually, again, just reach in, open this area up, grab your camera and other gear easily. On the flap, you also have an additional zippered kind of mesh compartment for smaller accessories if you're carrying like SD adapters, or in my case, I have an extra battery in here. So really like the flexibility to be used in that use case, and then that you can just take out all dividers and use it as a normal EDC bag as well. The last thing I wanna talk about in this compartment is the laptop area. So it has this divider that's slightly padded on the back and allows you to store up to a 15, potentially 16 inch laptop here. You can see my 13 inch MacBook Pro fit in there very comfortably. The design of this is meant to allow you to access your laptop both from the side and from the top. And you can see that this flap is, is loose enough that you can reach down and grab it pretty comfortably. This lip can kind of get in the way, particularly if you have a larger laptop, that's something that might get a little bit tricky. Uh, but for my, my device size, I was able to make that work pretty regularly, especially with how flexible this area is. Of course, with the flexibility, you do sacrifice maybe a little bit of the padding. However, I do like that it has um, enough padding that I don't have to use a case. And then on the bottom, it's not super suspended. There is a little bit of a gap here between the bottom, but it's also padded here. So it does feel like even when I place my bag down, my device is gonna be well protected. I like that it has this Velcro flap here to keep your device secured uh, so it's not moving around or anything like that. And then pulling my device out, now with the sleeve empty, you can get a better look at the inside. So it comes up a decent amount. If you have a thicker device, it should be able to fit in here comfortably. Again, you can access it from the top or the side, no sort of fleece lining on the inside. It might've been nice to have that same sort of Velcro lining just to give a little bit of protection against scratching. Uh, but it still feels like my device is gonna be well protected throughout the day. At the top, you also have this uh, pass-through that I was mentioning earlier, which pairs with this opening here on the side. So if you wanna use this to store a water bladder, you can do so as well. So really love the variety of setups that you can have with this bag, the organization that's provided all throughout, and just how rugged it feels. So if you're looking for a you know, 
bag that you're gonna be able to configure to meet your needs, that's gonna hold up in any environment, that's gonna have a little bit more of a tactical vibe and can handle your camera gear, then this is gonna be a fantastic option to take a look at. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the Trident 21 over the past couple of weeks. You can currently purchase this on VanQuest site for a little over $200. I believe it's around $245, uh, which is definitely a bit of an investment. However, you are getting a really well-built bag with a ton of features, and it's gonna compare well to other similar bags in this price range. And so as I was testing this out, the first bag this made me think of is VanQuest's Addicts backpack, which is offered in an 18 and 25 liter size. I looked at that a little while back on the channel, and I really loved the organizational layout on that bag, it had a ton of great pocketing, it worked for concealed carry, very comfortable harness system, solid build quality, and I really like the more minimal aesthetic that it had. It almost looked just like a tech backpack and it does have a good laptop compartment. I tried out the 18 liter, which was a little bit small for my needs, so I really liked the idea of a 25 liter bag in that aesthetic. I believe that that comes in at a little bit of a lower price range. So if you want something with VanQuest's sort of build quality and focus on organization, that's gonna be in a little bit more of a subdued aesthetic or come in at a slightly lower price range, and that's gonna be a great option to consider. If you're looking for something with a tactical vibe that's gonna be at a little bit of a lower price range, 511 has some fantastic options, such as their Amp series. We looked at the Amp 12 on the channel, and that one has a similar level of modularity, and 511 has an ecosystem of pouches and accessories that allow you to configure the bag to meet your needs. And I also really like the Rush 12, which has you know, a very tactical vibe with all the molly webbing that it has around it. Lots of great organizational options, solid build quality. It's not gonna be quite as rugged as this bag here and not, it's not gonna have all the same sort of bells and whistles, but if you're looking for a reliable, tactically styled EDC pack, then that's gonna be a great option to consider. Another bag this made me think of is the Wander Duo Day Pack, which is a really solid EDC and camera backpack. It has a modern kind of aesthetic, very techy vibe. The exterior is highly weather resistant. I really like the aqua guarded zippers. It also has a really interesting infinite zipper that allows you to access the bag from any angle, open it up clamshell style. It comes with a built-in camera cube that's collapsible, which is a really interesting idea, particularly if you don't carry as much camera gear with you on a day-to-day -day basis. It's comfortable to wear, it has a luggage pass-through, laptop compartment, it checks off all the boxes for what I would be looking for out of a durable EDC pack. And if you're looking for something with a more kind of modern aesthetic that's gonna offer a little bit better weather resistance, and that's gonna be a great option to take a look at. And then the last option that I'll mention here is the Boundary Supply Errant Pack, which is another one that has a little bit more of a modern and techy vibe, but it's fairly functional. It kind of walks that balance pretty nicely. It's you know got a little bit of an adventure vibe uh, and also a very nice ecosystem of accessories that you can combine with the bag. So they have camera gear that pairs inside of the bag to make it easy to reach your lenses or you know your actual camera, your drones. They have you know tech organizers that you can mix in and out of the bag. I really like their use of magnets for their accessories. They have a removable keychain thing that just makes it easy to remove. So a really kind of solid implementation, great laptop protection, comfortable, comes in at around 22 to 24 liters. So a similar size to this, it can maybe hold a little bit more. I like that that bag is also top loading, but still allows you to open it up like a clamshell style bag. So just a really solid alternative if you're looking for something that's gonna offer this type of versatility and you don't want sort of the tactical vibe that this has, and that's gonna be a great option to take a look at. With that being said, the VanQuest Trident 21 holds up really well against all those options. And if you're looking for a durable and comfortable everyday carry bag that's gonna offer a ton of organizational options and that can handle your camera gear, then this is gonna be a fantastic option to consider. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you all think of the Trident pack and how it compares to some of the other great EDC bags that we featured on the channel in the past. And if there are any similar options that you think I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I want to thank the company again for sending the bag for me to test out and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.